Hi, this is Michael, and we're looking at the Aussie dollar chart with a fresh set of eyes, a new perspective. This idea may resonate with you. It might make sense. You might find it valuable. It's a bit of a worry. It's a bit of a worry that I had to turn to this idea because we've gone through <clears throat> a bull scenario. Doesn't look right. We've gone through a minor bear scenario. Doesn't look right. So what's this? This is working with the idea that wave E ended in February, 2021, right? So no upside except for short term. I'll get to that in a minute, right? We'll get to the details of that, what's going on down there in a second. So first thing that you must have noticed is that I have subdivided this into five waves, a five wave move, not the zigzags down. Oh no, we got rid of that idea because we changed this up here to wave one. And then we changed this up here to wave three and here to wave five. Now, a lot of work was done on this. This, this here was, was a, the difficult part. This, this wave here was the part that almost gave this away is because wave one cannot be a zigzag if wave three doesn't even look right and there's no zigzags, right? There's no zigzag here. So what, what's this? Yes, it's a, it's a five wave move. And I'll show you something interesting in a sec with that. So pulled apart every single wave and found a five wave move that could be wave one. That's right, wave one, getting ready for a dump, a big dump. That's a problem. That, in my opinion, doesn't sound very good. Now, if you haven't seen my US dollar analysis, the fresh new analysis that I've done that re relates to this chart, I'll link it below. But you should probably watch that first if you, or later, that's fine, to get an idea of why I'm saying this, why I'm thinking that this could be the idea that is the one that's probably not gonna be very good. Um, there's a couple of reasons why this might be the case and I'll, that's looking more forward in time but if I have time at the end of the video I'll go over it. So this is going to take a bit of time to get through this. So first of all we've seen a wave one, five wave move, type two weak five wave move, wave three is not the shortest. Okay wave one is longer than wave three but wave five is just smaller perfect size see down the bottom how how that went just longer so that there is a good sign that this is the right count okay one two three four five it's a perfect five wave structure that's a de right that's what a de looks like e is very small and i've seen that before i've seen that happen many times a b c large d e small right? E small. That can happen. That's why I think this idea might actually be relevant, you know, and it's not ideal, but what can I do? I don't make the waves. I just read them. So going down to four hour chart, what are we doing here? So according to this, we have potentially an A, B, C, right? I don't think it's one, two, three, four, five there. I don't think that's right. It doesn't look right. And if you try to do that, then you run into some issues with looking for a five wave move as the first move, which is, which is really not, I don't think what's going on here. And if you look at the US dollar analysis, it quite clearly indicates a sharp five wave move, uh, sorry, a sharp correction to the downside. So is this going to be a sharp correction to the upside? More than likely, yes, because when you have a weak wave one, you, you sh corrections tend to be sharp. And then when they complete, it's, it's downward movement. So yeah, in a way, this probably could make you think that it's 
going up like we did think before, or like I did anyway, it's my fault. Um, but, you know, when it starts actually moving up, like my original idea, it'll get to a certain point and then turn around. Okay, so even if I did stick to my first idea, it would be wrong eventually if this idea is right. And the things that are giving this away happened, started to happen last night during CPI figures being released is, is when I noticed it. And that's why I put out the US dollar idea first, just as a primer. So then we go ahead and we take it to the extreme. We start from the bottom, right? Okay, A, B, that looks like a B, it's a three wave move there, small one. C, that looks like a five wave move, one, two, three, four, five. D, that looks like a five, like a three wave move. All right, so here, this is where, this is where the, the, the party begins, right? So I thought about every possible scenario and it's weird that, okay, we have, um, okay, this this is um, not labeled properly, but I'll just change this. One, two, one, two. Okay, now the reason for this is because um, wave E is going to be making this sharp, right? Now we talked about sharp corrections. Not all corrections are the same. Just because US dollar is doing something doesn't mean the Aussie dollar has got to copy exactly. They're not the same chart, right? But the idea is the same. We're looking for a full correction sharp. The way that it subdivides, I'm beginning to explain it to you. So A, B, C, D. So we're in E wave. We have one, two, one, two. One, two, one. And two is uh, actually one, two, one, two. I know, I know it's a lot of one, twos. We had this problem once before, except the problem is if you try to make this, uh, how can I say it? All right. If you try to make this wave one, okay, a zigzag wave one, okay. That's possible. Okay, let, let, let's let's take that zigzag wave one for a second as being possible. Okay, we, let's do this together. So, okay, that's zigzag one. And then we need zigzag, sorry, we have wave two. And then we need zigzag three. Okay, so zigzag three technically could be the move that ended up the highs here. Okay, and it would have to be that. It would have to be that. Why? Because you can only have a weak five wave move in the beginning of a zigzag. And that would be the zigzag completed. So is wave three supposed to be smaller than wave one? Well, if it is, then, and if that is, um, how can I say this? <clears throat> if that is zigzag wave three, right? Let's just look at it this way for a second. Let's put the three down. Let's look at zigzag wave three being that. Okay, cool. Well, you can't have uh, wave five be any longer than wave three because we already know that wave one is the biggest. So wave three being this short, wave three cannot be the shortest, then that guess what? You're looking at a zigzag that goes back up this far. Now, is that something that is potentially the case? Sure, it could be, it could be the case, right? Corrections tend to come back to the previous fourth wave. So it's possible, okay? In, in the previous fourth wave, actually, that's already occurred. That's already happened. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe a couple of things wrong there. We're probably going to go back to 0.618 
or even 0.786, right? But on top of that, since when does a wave three look like that? It doesn't look right, okay? That's why I had one, two, one, sorry. What am I doing here? One, two, oh, one, two, okay? <clears throat> okay, so we're not done yet. What's next? Okay, so if this is wave one, so obviously wave three would be in progress. And this would make wave three probably going to be the longest move coming right up, right? So in that case, we've seen one. Uh, technically, we should make that green. Otherwise, we're going to get confused here. All right, so basically a third of a third wave. Now, definitely what weird what's going on at the highs here, but I'll explain it to you. So one, two, and then one, two. Okay, so if that's the case, what's going on at small degree? Great, let's have a look. So this is when I started to see things really pan out is during the CPI numbers. Here we're counting A, B, C, D, E for wave two. So quite a small correction. Okay, so the problem with this move started with this zigzag here. Me thinking that this was a five wave move before converting it to this view. This had to be A, B, C, D, E or some kind of something like that, right? But then we broke the highs, broke the view. Um, and I said, sell the news. But <laughs> that's before I came out with this video. So what I believe is we are going to go for a third of a third wave. But we're starting off a weak five wave move again in this pattern. So that's another thing with this pattern is, is, is that to me, it makes more sense for this to be the case because a weak five wave move after seeing that initial one down the bottom, it, it would only make sense if it's a new trend. So a new trend within wave three, it's starting off like this. And how does it subdivide? Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the one minute chart, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. So you start to see it more clearly when you see this. So if we're moving up in three waves again, one, a, B, uh, C is meant to be here. I don't know why it's not there. C right there. Oops. And then the D happened during the news event. So the, the, the wave that broke up, it, it broke up to there. You can see it quite clearly. And during the news event, we saw an E wave that went all the way back down. That was a really sharp drop down. That was the end of wave two. And then we produced what I'm still trying to work out slightly here. Is this move that happened afterwards a wave three? Okay. It could be with C wave being weaker. And then we went into a correction. A uh, is this the way I'm looking at this? Okay. A, B, and I think potentially C. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. So what I was thinking earlier was A, B, C, and D is on the way. And then E, and then we get wave five. So four and five is still in progress. So it hasn't started yet. Right, wave third of a third wave still hasn't started because we still haven't seen one, two, three, four, five for the first wave. Right, so it's very similar to what happened with this beginning here. Right, one, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E. So that kind of thing, a smaller degree, should kick off the move eventually into wave three. Right, now remember what I said 
this is not going to be going terribly high. Um, and it, and what's the other alternative? The other alternative could be, right, that this is one, two, and here we have three, right? And then we have four, and then we have five. So the reason why I think this probably isn't the case is because you're starting off with a week five wave move and you're ending with one. I've never seen that before. I don't even think that's possible, right? So we're covering all bases here, right? And we're considering that maybe, you know, is this going to be, is this, is this over? Like I said, week five wave move, one, two, three, week five wave move for five. Does it really seem right to you? Like, really? I don't think so. I think there's something wrong with that. So this is why we're looking at the wave three scenario. Okay, so I know it might sound a bit extreme and a bit weird, but I've seen E-waves that can, that can smash up pretty high. I mean, you saw that news event one, those E-waves can be brutal. They go almost to the lows, right? Look, it just went down almost to the lows and then it smashed higher. Can you see it? So what's that in reverse means this thing could go right up near the highs and still be within the distance that it's allowed to go, which is up to, you know, it could shoot up like hit like here, right? Like, like that's what it could do. And then it could just reverse back down, right? Really, really hard because you got to think about it. If it does, if this is wave one and that's wave two, then it will smash down because it's wave three, right? And it would have been a sharp correction, make you think wave three is happening and then boom, you get smashed. So this is why I've been bringing all these ideas to you because we have to be aware of them. Now, where would this go once it starts to turn around? Good question. So if we're starting wave C from here, we take the length of wave A, right? And we put it to the start there, then Aussie dollar could fall as far as 22 cents, 23 cents, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? That's brutal, brutal. But what do you expect if the US dollar turns higher in wave three? What do you think that will mean? The only thing that I'm wondering is that wave three then could this be a wave three rather than a wave C? That's a bit scary. That would mean that fiat currencies die. God forbid, could that even be possible? Wow, that makes you think, doesn't it? So there's the waves are always interesting, but the thing to me is like, what the hell is going on? What will, what will that cause? And why is it gonna happen so soon now? Well, this is why we keep analyzing. Right, trying to reason and deduct the, the incorrect ideas until we find the idea that's the most probable. Right, and that's why I keep presenting ideas to you, so then you can come along for the ride and have an opinion or whatever. Right, but you, at least you can see how I'm formulating my opinions along the way. If I'm going to give you the most bearish view, that's that's my last resort. I don't want to do that. But as you can see. It's taken all those other incorrect looking ideas to get to where we are. So that goes to show I'm not trying to be bearish on purpose. It's just sort of just presenting itself that way. So, yep, let's leave it at that and I'll catch you on the next one.